Good morning. Today we are going to go on a zipline and mezcal tasting tour. That leaves at 9 o'clock. It's about 7.30 right now. We're just going to go get our breakfast. So we'll see you either at breakfast or when we leave for the zip lining. Okay, switch it up today. No nachos today. We've got a bagel. There it is. Outfit of the day to go zip lining and tequila tasting. <laughs> Coconuts? Loco Chicken. Pollo. We're going to give you a few minutes so you can use the restroom. So if you can go to the beach and then you're gonna get ready for your activity. And there are some persons doing zip lines and there are some others doing ATV tours. So in the case of the people that is doing the zip line, we recommend you to not take any opportunity with you up there because if anything falls, it's gone. That's why we have blockers where you can leave your belongings. So we attempted to recover the GoPro footage, but they wanted $1,200 for it. So enjoy this compilation of photos instead. Just bit me. <laughs> so, hi, 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 hi. hi cuties. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, cuties. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Okay, so guys, the Hi, hi. Quesadilla. Pico. And bottled water. Hi, cutie. Hello. Girl. Hi. Hi. Oh, how sweet. You trying to find your lunch? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to. There's too many spiders by the tip box. He's got to do it for me. Ring the bell. <laughs> yeah, those flowers are nice. This is where we're going for our tequila tour. So guys, we're gonna make the tour in Spanish so everybody can understand, right? They made a territory, including only five states. This is to protect the region of tequila in Jalisco, where they started with the uh, with the production of tequila. Uh, so in the territory, there are only five states, Jalisco, Nayarit, Michoacán, Guanajuato, and Tamaulipas. Sinaloa, where we are located, is not part of that territory. That's why they cannot use the word tequila on their bottle for many, many years. Into this process, they are going to apply steam. And in that way, they are going to transform the carbohydrates into extractable sugar. <laughs> so once they complete the steaming, they are going to use that special tool to take all the piñas out of the oven. Uh, they are being they are instructed to get the fiber. In the fiber, we're going to find the syrup. So they are going to mix the syrup with the water 
here in that in this band they are going to add water and then at the end they are going to squeeze that so mixing the syrup with the water they are going to make a juice that is going to come out from that drain into this container sugar into alcohol right the process is made naturally they don't add any kind of nutrient they don't use any kind of creaming so they need to keep the yeast active during all those days so what they do instead of using nutrients it's playing music in their room the glasses around are here for a reason the vibration of the music are gonna bounce on the glasses and then inside of the barrel and they're gonna produce this little constant movement inside so it's gonna be enough to keep this microscope is being on movement yeah, and so they are going to separate all the elements in the mosto to get just the alcohols and the water all the mix of alcohols and water is called ordinary and then they are going to red steal that because into those alcohols that they are separating we're going to find some that are not drinkable like the melanin right that's why they make a second distillation into this wood alambique here they are going to make three cups to separate the bad alcohol from the good alcohol and the water it's a lowering alcohol process they need to distill water with the body to take it to the 34.6 and make the blanco as an extra they keep the blanco in a barrel for just nine days just to get a little bit more of flavor after those nine days they filter it and it goes to the bottom room but in the case of the rest of the distillates the reposados añecos and blanco titanium they need to send the body to the H room first. Into the H room, they are gonna they have the white oak barrels where they are gonna keep the the body for the time that is required for making their different distillates. Eleven months for reposado, three years for añejo and blanco titanium, eighteen months for reposado premium, and five years for extra añejo. The wood is going to give the smell, the color, the taste that they have at the end. Once they complete the H, they filter it and it goes to the lower in alcohol process to adjust it to the 34.6 or 40% depending on the case and then the buttering room which is the last part of the process. Okay, so this and is the coconut one that's made, made with the blank of tequila. Coconut and lemon, it's made with blank. Yeah, and this is the vanilla one, it's made with the reposado. If you if you if you want to mix any of these, the blanco is the best to mix because that one is just natural, traditional. I mean, it's not really very sweet mm -hmm. and it's, it's not aging, so. Yeah, like like for, uh, any of the other, it's just to see, see it to charge it. Yeah. Yeah, this one is the coconut. I can't remember. Yeah, I like, I like <laughs> the... Um... Where, where do they, they don't make this. Maybe, I don't know if I want... They I'm make the uh, uh, here. They here. That one, it's mixed with uh, some uh, beans of... Uh, a little bit better than Jose Cuervo. That's why it's dark. <laughs> and okay. the, 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 the white vanilla, it's just... Where are they, where they making this? Wow. Well, not here, but closer to here. So they bring the pot. That's going to be worse. They, they are going to make this here. See, this one is made here. I like that. I want that. How much is that? It's 150 pesos. No, that one has... Um, is it? No. The flavor is familiar to me. It's some sort of a really? drink really the candy from when I was little. Yeah. Mm. The the coconut is like has a little bit more depth of flavor where the vanilla is just super sweet. Mm -hmm. What they do with the coconut and vanilla is mixing mixing it with the evaporated milk. Oh, yeah. oh, well, but that makes it even sweeter. <laughs> but it tastes good. I mean it's so sweet. See, yeah. I, I don't really think that they need to mix it with anything else, but they do that here and people like it. Don't do that. No, no, no. He's saying it's so good you don't need it. Yes, sir. But tip it, don't get all the shots. Just tip it. Yeah. Much better. <laughs> I do like that kind of smooth. Thanks. Yeah. Time for the beach. Brad's beach. still wearing his. Hey, 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 hey. 
I got my bathing suit on. What are you on, dog for? Hat. Lunch first, and then a little beach. Okay, we just spent a couple hours at the pool. Um, I didn't go in, actually. I just like sort of sunbathed, but the boys went in the pool. We ended up at this one because it was a little chilly today, and this one is heated, apparently. And the other ones are not. We started over at that one that was like the infinity pool. That's so beautiful. But it was really cold for the boys. So we came over here. Okay, look it. It's already 7 o'clock now. Well, 7.30. Um, so we went up after being on the pool and had a jacuzzi for like honestly like an hour and a half. And we watched the sunset from the jacuzzi on our balcony. And now we're headed for dinner with uh, Jacob and mom and dad again. So that's fun. Okay, what do I even have here? Some macaroni, some Asian noodles, some broccoli. This is rice. Just got lots of toppings on it. Some sort of like an enchilada, a quesadilla, and a piece of fish. Okay, forgot to close out the vlog again yesterday, so we're gonna quickly tell you what we did after dinner, and that's nothing. <laughs> we were gonna go to the Mamma Mia show, but like I've already seen it. Brad kind of seen it. I don't know if he remembers much of it. It was the night of the bachelor party. So the like shows here, they rotate. Like they're the same shows every day of the week. So like Monday is always the same show. Tuesday is always the same show. So yesterday was Sunday. So Sunday is the, um, the Mamma Mia or the ABBA, ABBA show. Every Sunday at this hotel is the ABBA show. Um, Saturday was the like fiesta like show, like the Mexican fiesta show or Mexican party show, um, which was awesome. So hopefully um, there'll be a good show tonight. We're having a, like a full on pool day. So it'll be lots of GoPro footage, um, maybe a beach walk, maybe Mr. Leonci, Leonci's, is that how you say it? I don't know. Yeah, no, so. Yeah, for lunch today, because when we went there last time, we didn't get to do the like tequila tasting because it was way too late at night and we were way too drunk to be doing tequila tasting. So. We might do that for lunch today, switch it up. Although it's so, lunch is so good here and like we're getting sick of the dinner buffet. Maybe we should do it for dinner. Yeah. Maybe, mm -hmm. but like an earlier dinner, not eight o'clock at night so that they're about to close like last time. Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching the vlog. Vlog, 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 bye.